Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Riverside Resources, John Mark Stoddy. How are you doing today, John? Rich, great. I'm down here in Mexico at our exploration offices here. It's great to be on the show with you. Well, very excited to have you back on the show. Welcome from Mexico. I was there last year. I absolutely love Mexico. And mining is very risky, but Riverside Resources has a de-risking strategy. And we love resources. We love mining right now. And we love companies that have a de-risking strategy. So my first question, John Mark, is what does Riverside Resources do? And what is the advantage of your company's project generator model? You know, what we do is we generate ideas and acquire properties without using our balance sheet, but using our strong network to acquire it with partnerships. For example, working with the world's largest mining company, BHP in a strategic alliance. What we do is we do mineral exploration. We get these different properties through optioning them or through uh, staking them. And then we find partners, thus de-risking the project, not on our balance sheet, not by ourselves, but with partners spending the money on the projects that we own. That's called the project generator model. And that's what Riverside does. And from that, we're able to build a portfolio of royalty assets, of assets we own, and grow the company, but not have to go back to shareholders with financing to do that. Fantastic. And considering that, what would you say are the top three catalysts for Riverside Resources over the next six months? I think one is drilling, and I'm so excited, drilling in Mexico, working with this world large mining company like BHP to be drilling on porphyry copper projects. I think the second thing is gold. Gold, man, it's really taking off. And Riverside owns high-grade gold assets in Mexico. And so I see catalysts for Riverside out of our Mexican portfolio. So owning Riverside stocks, you get both of those, the drilling and also the gold in Mexico. And the third is gold in Ontario, Canada. We drilled last year and hit on the gold, and now we're moving ahead with three gold projects in Ontario. So catalysts there for drilling, for discovery, for exploration, for growth, high grades, a whole portfolio that we own. So owning shares of Riverside, you get all of that put together. So it's in a good position for Riverside. Oh, that's fantastic. And we love Riverside Resources. And so speaking of your Ontario properties, why is it that the province of Ontario is the best mining jurisdiction in Canada? I think first off is because it's large, has great infrastructure, and because they're very supportive to the mining industry, that overall Ontario produces about 47% of all the gold in the entire country of Canada. So that's an excellent ratio. The reason it's so good is that they're very large deposits, world-scale deposits, and the world-scale infrastructure. In fact, Riverside projects right now are adjacent to one of Canada's largest new mines being developed right now. It's the Equinox company is doing it. It's the Hard Rock Gold Mine by Greenstone Gold. And that mine will be the third largest gold producer in the entire country of Canada for open pit mines. So this is going to be a great position to be Riverside right around it. So the reason Ontario is so good is the infrastructure, the support, and particularly the endowment is wonderful in Ontario. John Mark, you also mentioned the country of Mexico and your top catalyst for Riverside. Can you please go in a little bit more details on your project there? And why is it that you work exclusively in the Sonora province? We love Sonora, kind of like Ontario. Sonora is the major mining state, kind of like in the United States or in Nevada as well. So it's the big gold producer inside of the United States. So the reason we like Sonora, and Sonora is directly south of Arizona. It's a great location. You can drive here, super good infrastructure, and it has such a good mining culture. Mines are rapidly built. You know, I've been working in mineral exploration, particularly in Mexico and Sonora for 35 years. And we've actually had quite a few projects, Alamos Gold, other companies that have done very well, where I've done a lot of work, maybe uh, even did my PhD, things like that. So the reason we like it is the great endowment 
the really big ability to move things quickly, the existing infrastructure, and particularly that it is a state that has a lot of private ranch land. And so those private ranches allows for purchasing of those ranches, consolidating of projects and putting it together. So as I'm down here now, yesterday I was out at a ranch on one of our project sites. Tomorrow I'll do that again uh, down here in Sonora, Mexico at our offices and then off into the field. So that's why Sonora is such a great place. It's so easy to work and so fertile for big discoveries. Now, can you give us a bit more details on the Riverside team and leadership? For instance, you recently reported that you have added a new high-profile board member. You know, getting a major new board member for us, Riverside has about 45% of our shareholding is European shareholder base, so very large European shareholder base. And what that means is sticky money, committed money, and very smart money, and it's great to have that. And James Ladner, who lives in Zurich, who lives in Switzerland, who is a major banker and financier in the mining industry, has joined the board of Riverside. He himself is a big shareholder and represents this large group of different people that are coming from that. And that's wonderful. That just shows, again, the support that Riverside has within the financial community for really building a true business, not just a speculation, but really a chance to grow and unlock value for shareholders in the gold and other commodities. So for us, the, the him as the new director is fabulous. Also on the management team myself, and we have a very exciting vice president of exploration, Freeman Smith, a very good chief geoscientist. Julian Manco, who's down here in Mexico right now today with me after this meeting, I'm doing this here, I'll be connecting with him. And we're meeting with some of the other very large worldwide mining companies this week down here in Mexico, as they also look to join us and do work. It's part of the catalyst we're talking about is more deals, more transactions that are coming for Riverside in the next six months. Wow, that's very exciting. I can't wait to see what comes out of that. Now, lastly, please remind us, why is it that Riverside, unlike the majority of all other junior mining companies out there, stands out by a large margin compared to its peers on its cash position and share structure. You know, Riverside has been going for 16 years since I founded the company. The reason we stand out is we don't haven't put out so many shares. We've never rolled back. We have 74 and a half million shares out after 16 years. That's amazing. Secondly, is we have $8 million cash and yet a market cap of only $11 million. So basically the cash is almost the size of our market cap. So the upside is amazing and the limited risk to the downside is incredible. Riverside's entire portfolio. So the reason we stand out is that we have such a large cash position, but that cash has not been from raising money. It's from actually from getting deals, selling assets and keeping royalties with some of the largest mining companies, for example, in Mexico with Fresnillo Mining Company. They're the largest silver producer of the world. And here they are doing a deal with Riverside to for a project that in their eyes could be a next one of the next mines for them. And Riverside has a 2% royalty on that project, on the Taitos claims. So we stand out as we have royalties that are moving ahead. We have a really good cash position. And we're working in multiple jurisdictions, yet have such a tight share structure at 75 million shares and a very small market cap gives for amazing upside. That's why we see that it's pretty unique what Riverside has right now. It's a real buying opportunity. Super excited to watch you guys continue to grow and evolve. We love companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underappreciated, and underexposed with tight share structures. And you guys fill that void and, and fit that structure perfectly with cash in the bank. I want to bring your attention to the symbols in Canada. It's RRI. In America, it's RVSDF. I want to remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. I want to thank the CEO and president of Riverside Resources, John Mark Stoddy, for joining us today. John Mark, thank you for having us. Rich, great to be with you. Thank you for your time. Always a pleasure. Continue all your success. And we'll be watching you very closely, especially when you got all those majors looking around. And uh, we're going to be watching very, very closely on all your news and all your updates. And I'd love to invite you back again soon. Look forward to it. Thank you, John Mark, the CEO of Riverside Resources. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first.
Thank you for watching, everybody. This is your host, Rich from Rich to Be Live with John Mark Stoddy, the CEO and president of Riverside Resources, saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon. Thank you.